Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I'm going to show you how do you get a font that you download in into Design Space. So, uh, for our example today, we will be using the one of my favorite font sites, which is Defont. So you're going to go to www.defont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. It's going to pull up the site here, and as you can see. It has a lot of different styles of fonts. If you're looking for different fonts that are a particular style, you can, you know, search the categories there. Uh, if you've seen a font online that you're interested in um, downloading, you and you know the name of the font, you can also type in the search bar up here, which is what we're going to do in a minute. But also they have this recently added fonts, which is always kind of fun to look at. That's always on the front screen here. But I would like to download the fabulous I Love Glitter font. And so I'm just going to type in I Love Glitter. All right. And then hit enter. And now it's going to pull up the I Love Glitter font. So this font, now here's some information you need to know about. Now this font is by Misty's font. So that is the... Um, designer of this font and when you look over here so this is what the font's going to look like and then when you look over here to the right i want to point out it does let you know that it's in the script fonts under handwritten if you were going to look for other fonts similar to this those are the styles that you could look for um and then here it lets you know you know how many times has it been downloaded and you know it gets downloaded a lot um, but this particular font is free for personal use so when you're looking at fonts you need to know if it's free for personal use that means you can make a project with it but only for something that you're going to use yourself or maybe you're going to give as a gift but this does not have a commercial license so you cannot download this font and then make a bunch of products to sell at craft shows or online or whatever if you want to do that you would need to purchase the commercial license now for this particular font they are letting you know that uh, at Creative Fabrica, they actually uh, miss these fonts. The designer has an agreement with Creative Fabrica to sell her font. She's using their shop to sell this font, and it would cost you $8 for you to have it so you could have a commercial license, okay? So sometimes you'll see these little ads that are on the fonts. I wanted to point that out. The other thing is um, usually you'll see a terms of use uh, document uh, when you download the font and that will also let you know if you can use it for personal use or if it has a commercial license and a lot of times it'll say up here or it'll also say uh, contribute to the designer which is always a nice thing to do throw them a couple of bucks for using their font <clears throat> but let's move on i just wanted to point those things out to you real quick now once you find the font that you want to download you will see this gray download button so we're going to click download now this is how it works for on the default site and um i then i'm going to navigate to a file folder somewhere on my computer where i'm going to save this so i know where it's at and um so i'm going to go i already set up a folder that's just i love glitter test for this demo and it is going to then put it in the folder that i selected it at and you're going to notice here that it is a zipped folder okay so the font folders usually come in as a zip folder because there's usually more than one style a font and there might be a license agreement or something that comes with it so it comes as a zip folder so once you once you know that it's down it's here you're going to click save <coughs> it's going to download to that file folder okay so we're going to get out of this because we don't need to be here and i am going to go into my file explorer now i'm on a pc so you may uh, be doing this on a mac or something so if that's the case then uh, you may do your slightly different just do it how you would normally uh, download anything so i need to go find my file 
where I downloaded the font and then you're and you're going to see it is a zipped folder because there's a little zipper here. Now in Windows applications you can right click and then there's going to be a button here that says extract all. So I'm going to do that and say extract all. It's going to pop up see what my destination folder extract it so forth all you're going to do is hit extract okay now what it's done is that it has opened that zip folder and now it gives you several this particular one has several different things in it so it has the how to use the font all right so if you open that up it's a document then it has an otf file it has a terms of use file and it has a TTF file. Okay, so you would have for that particular font, you're going to have those that information. All right, so any of the fonts may have different things in them, but normally you're going to see a TTF file, an OTF file, and usually like a terms of use. Okay, uh, I always upload the OTF file. So you can, because that gives you any of the extra features or glyphs that come with the file, with that font will be included when you install that font. Um, so you would right click on that and then this is when you're on a Windows PC, there is a little install here and you could install it. Now I've already installed this font, so I'm not gonna do that. But once you install it on your computer, then what you need to do, we're gonna click out of this, then what you need to do, oh, I got more things open than y'all need to see. Um, you would go into design space and log out and then log back in. And then when you go into text and you type in, I love glitter or whatever the name of the font is or whatever you want to say, okay? I'm just using the example. You're going to have a text box. Then you're going to be able to come up here in design space and find that font. Now it's a system font, okay? And I can type in the name of the font. And there is I Love Glitter. I can click on that. And now it has changed my font to I Love Glitter, okay? so. Um, that's how you would uh, find a font. There's a bunch of different font sites. I happen to like Defont because I've never had any uh, issues with downloading any fonts from there uh, with viruses or anything. Um, there's several others that you can use, but I really like this one. Um, but they all work similar. So you would find the font you want, download it, put it on your computer, install it on your computer, and then you would be able to open it in uh, Design Space and find the font and be able to use it in Design Space. Now, if you're using a, um, not a desktop, but you're using a mobile device, you may need to use a separate font program or application. And the one for iPad that I use is the Any, Any Font. And um, that's gonna be a whole separate video. <coughs> anyway, so, uh, that's how you find a font and then get it so you can use it in Design Space when you install a system font. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys later.